Hey folks, so look what we got here, an Insignia TV from Best Buy, 43 inch class F30 series LED 4K Ultra HD, HDR10 Smart Fire Starter TV. And this is beautiful, it reminds me of my Samsung which I've done reviews on, but at half the price. So this is really a great budget TV. I got it on sale for 175. It's fully loaded with a lot of options. You can see the remote is even similar to my Samsung TV remote. And we can take a quick pick at the remote if you want. You can see we got the power button, we got the Alexa, we got the Wonder Wheel, which is wonderful, back button, home button, the three lines, which will give you more options. We got the back. Rewind, play, pause, fast forward, the volume, and by the way, the remote is definitely soft to the touch. And we got the live TV, channels up and down, mute button, we got some settings, picture and picture type, and then we got the quick launch buttons for Amazon Prime, Netflix, Direct TV. Does anyone still have Direct TV? And Peacock. Peacock's actually decent. I think DirecTV, we can actually change this to anything we want in that box. So let's take a look at what the TV can actually do. So I have the remote, so this will be a test with the remote. I turned the lights out a little bit so you can see the picture quality. But if we go all the way, right now we're on home, right? So this would be live TV, home, find, my stuff. So look, you know, you can have your watch list which obviously I did, you know, we got the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Then we got Renfeld with Nicolas Cage, which I was thinking about watching sometime. Transformers movie, Rise of the Beast, Five Nights at Freddy's. Remember that the video game first came out, everyone went cuckoo and caca and everything for it. Um, didn't see the movie, it's like five years too late, but probably good. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, can't go wrong with that. Um, and what else here? So over here we can change the inputs. And then, you know, I signed in with the Ninja, Ninja Ninja. And we go all the way over here. And you see we got all the apps. So this is a great interface, guys, if you're not familiar with the Fire. Netflix, Prime, Hulu, Freebie, YouTube, love me you some YouTube, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, and please give the video a thumbs up. I know I said that a little prematurely. So look, we can go to the settings. We can show you this stuff. Again, inputs, notifications, profiles, account, and profile settings, network, and this was easy to connect, guys, like right out of the box. This really is pretty good. I'm really surprised it's a low price, although I got it on sale, 175 And look, you got live TV, you can hook up your digital antenna, equipment control, applications, display and sounds, Alexa. I actually haven't really used Alexa, I don't know much about it, but ironically I went over to my friend's house earlier this week and he had Alexa, he was turning lights on, talking to Alexa. She was really nice to him, they were on a first name basis, so it is kind of neat if you know how to set that up. Device and software, accessibility and help. So where do we want to go from here? Why don't we go back? How about the live TV? I'll show you guys the live TV. So if you go to live TV, go to the guide. And I will guide you through it. So here are some channels from Phoebe which freebie, which has their guide. And again, look, you can see what's on at 8.30, 9.30. You know, you got Merlin. That was actually a decent TV series, to tell you the truth. Alien Nation, do you believe in aliens? By the way, did you ever see that movie, Fake Out Frey? Sci-fi comedy movie about aliens? Uh, I was actually in that, so that's a cheap plug, and you can find it on YouTube. It was released about a year ago. But look, so we got all these channels. Farscape, that was decent. Um, let's see what else comes with it. You know, these are so-so channels, you know, here's Highway to Heaven, that was a great positive show. Are we there yet? 
anger management all day. You can watch Charlie Sheen getting angry. Nah, he wasn't getting angry. He was just being a playboy gigolo. Saved by the Bell channel. So a lot of channels, guys. And again, you just move to the right. You want to see what's on later? And this is Mystery Science Theater. You would just literally go over here. Look, here's Trailer Park Boys. Although this is the swear show, I'd rather see the real show. Um, but look, guys, all this stuff. Kids in the Hall. And I think it just cycled through. Um, but also, you can add to the guy. I think this is all just the freebie guide that comes with it. But if we back out, like say we want to go to Amazon Prime. And let's see, Amazon Prime, which I do love Amazon Prime's live TV. Because you really get so much. And you can see what I left off at. I was watching ALF before. They're actually promoting Fallout. That's a new series. Anyone see that yet? Never played the video game, but I heard the series is pretty good. So look, ALF, Three Stooges, the 80s music video channel. Listen to that all the time. There's the newer Roadhouse with Conor McGregor. Again, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show with the Italian plumbers from New York. A Fast and the Furious movie, Tales of Walking Dead, The Boys. Did the new season come out yet with The Boys? I guess not. Monk, always a great show. Cyborg, great Van Damme movie, Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom. And you get the gist of it. So this is all, you know, again, Amazon, Amazon Fire TV, Amazon Live TV, fully loaded. But you do have all the free apps, obviously, too. Um, but this is just great, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm really loving this TV, especially for the budget. Um, so, like, you guys know Hulu and Netflix and all that. I mean, we could go into it, but, you know, again, you click on YouTube. Oh, I didn't install YouTube yet on the TV. So, but again, it's real easy to download stuff. The apps, I did download some of them, like, you know, but a lot of them come with it. You know, and then you have the 2B TV, Pluto TV, Netflix, all this stuff that you can download, and a lot of it comes pre-installed. And there's not a lot of bloatware on this. I mean, I do hate bloatware. So you got all this good stuff all at your fingertips. Um, so yeah, no complaints with this TV. I want to show you the back of the TV. I'll show you the uh, what kind of ports it has. Okay, you guys back here with me? We're going down on the mites. So here's the ports, which is obviously important. There's the audio. We got a USB port. You do need that. You can put a flash drive in there or whatnot. HDMI 1, which is also the ARC. So we have one HDMI so far. Two HDMIs so far. Three HDMIs so far. So that is what you need. And you can see that they're in there. I was just showing you the pictures. So you really do need three, um, and you got the one USB. So I am liking that a lot. And then on the other side, it's just the plug. You can see the plug hiding in there, right? And then there's the you know quick specs if you want to see that this is the Insignia TV. So again, really cool, solid looking TV. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description where you guys can purchase it if you want and uh, some more details about it. But again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give it a thumbs up if you can. I would appreciate the support. All right, all right.